Hey guys, we're getting the Heartmark channel with Mary Tannenbaum. Let's go. Boom. I'm looking for love and a fast-paced 90-page rom-com script that doesn't need to make total sense. Mary Tannenbaum. She goes into the holiday whodunit. Can't really hear anything. Two seconds. I'm back. Is it just me, or does her head there? Oh god, what have I done now? Ooh. Does her head look <laughs> too big for the icon in the top left there? What the hell? Mary does it again. Another Friday night with no plans. I guess I'll just watch 10 things I hate about you for the 10th zillionth time. Turns on TV. Great. One of my heartmark mystery movies is playing on the hotel TV. Actually, romancing the scone. Scone? Scone? The, ac the confectioner's confession isn't worth it. But you're just a baker turned amateur sleuth. How could you possibly know that the killer was left handed? It's simple. Che Chef Pierre doesn't spiral his cinnamon rolls clockwise, he spirals them counterclockwise. Counterclockwise! I still can't believe we got Tabitha Vix to agree to do this. Chief Pierre was the killer all along. Arrest him! Zut! Oh, I spit on your perfectly risen souffle and of detective work, spits. Don't worry, Chef Pierre, I'm sure you'll break all the pastries you want from the prison kitchen. Not if I escape, hits officer with rolling pin and escapes. Oh no, I totally forgot that I was supposed to write and direct a sequel to this. Types on laptop. And the script is due tomorrow? It's okay, Mary. You got this. All you have to do is write an entire Heartmark movie in one night, fly back to their big city in, in the morning and turn it, all, turn it in. Write Romancing the Scone 2. Typing, the end. Romancing the Scone 2, the f f font, font, I can't say the word. Fugitive is 95 pages of, of formulaic fun. Ooh, and my Uber to the airport just arrived. Well, I guess this is a goodbye, Springfield. I didn't find love here, but at least I didn't lose my highly lucrative job searching for it. Hopefully next year I'll finally get my Christmas wish. I can't believe I have to head back to the big city. I never even saw Spring Squidport or Springfield Gorge. Well, we could stop at the gorge. It's on the way. <gasps> Gasp, what the? Oh my god, I completely forgot that. I'm in an Uber to the airport. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. No, I'm the one. There should be apologizing. My, brain, my brain's running on fumes this morning. Shows laptop. I had to write an entire script last night, and there wasn't any coffee at the hotel, only powdered hot chocolate and horchata flavored Mountain Dew. Well, I can fix you up a cup, uh, a cup of... Uh, fix up a cup of Joe. Clicks button on express machine. You have an express machine in your car? That's amazing. What kind of milk do you take? Let me guess. Oh, that is what I take. You might be the best Uber driver I've ever had. Oh, I'm not really an Uber driver. I just do it on Saturday to raise the money for victims, raise money for the victims of whatever the most recent natural disaster is. Today, I'm raising money for the victims of the super tornado in Maine and the mega blizzard in San Diego. San Diego, that pesky climate strikes again. I'm Mary, by the way. I know your name on the app, Mary T. My name's Ned, Ned Flanders. Ned, like that, I like that. Well, here we go, the Springfield Gorge, ain't it pretty? I had to meet the perfect man right as I'm about to leave. What was that? Oh, just that you're right, it sure is pretty. So, take a picture of the Springfield Gorge, drive Mary to the airport. Are we getting like a romance between these two? How odd. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Right. Yeah, her head is definitely too big. Well, here we are, Mary T. The Air Big City. Terminal at the Springfield Airport. Well, I guess this is a goodbye. Thanks for the expresso. If I ever come back to Springfield, I'm buying you a coffee. It's a deal. Safe travels. I sure like that Mary T. Gasp. Oh no, she left her laptop in the back seat. Wait. Your laptop. Mary? Well, I guess the only thing to do is to buy a plane ticket, go through security, and give her a laptop back myself. Jesus Christ, Ned. Well, I don't see her at the gate. Maybe she's already on the plane. I guess I can get on. Drops off the laptop and gets on off before it takes off. 
Mary, you forgot your laptop. Ned? Oh my gosh, my whole life was on there. Let, let alone the copy of the script romance in the scone too, the Fontaine Fugitive. You just saved everything, Ned. Folks, this is your captain speaking. We have now closed the doors to the aircraft. Please, fasten your seatbelts. Oh no, the plane's taken off. We will be arriving in the big city in a few short hours. On behalf of Big City Airlines, I'd like to say it's our honor transporting you back from the small town you just visited to the big city you certainly wish you never left. I'm not supposed to be on the plane. I'm a small town Flanders. Not a big city, Ned. Don't worry, I'll pay for your ticket back. I'm so sorry, Ned. Do you know what? It's okay. I've never been to the big city before. Maybe it'll be an adventure. Maybe it will. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Punch up a script. Flanders clap when the plane lands. I actually quite like this uh, quest line. It's quite interesting. It's better than the normal ones they do. Well, I guess this is a goodbye, Ned. Unless you want to spend some time in the big city with me. Of course, I'd love to show me around. To show to show me around. First thing I need to do is book a hotel room. I have accumulated quite a bit of points on the Radisson, if there is one. You could just stay at my place. Sorry, didn't mean to just blurt that out. Really? Your place? That's so nice, Mary. Let me call the sitter for my kids and let her know I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, you have children? Yes, with my first wife who passed away a few years back. Oh, Ned, that's so awful. I'm so sorry. And then I remarried, and she also tragically passed away. Oh, gosh, I'm sensing a theme here. Well, I'll be back in a sec. Just going to have call the sitter and let her know I'm staying with Mary T. Um, do you know what? I totally forgot that my apartment's uh, on fire, and uh, no one can uh, stay there. Oh, oh, okay. I'm also super busy and have to go right this second, so thanks for returning my laptop, being a great Uber driver. See you back in the room, if I go back, runs away. Okay, um, bye, Mary. Bye forever, I mean, bye now. Well, I guess I'm stuck in the big city on my own. Oh my gosh, everything is so expensive. Eight dollars for war, scaffolding everywhere, so many workers on strike. Must find a safe place to hide. Ooh, an M&M store filled with M&Ms. <laughs> that was actually not a bad quest line. I actually think that's the best quest line, one of the best I've seen this year. Uh, Mary Tambom. So we got borrow magnif mag magnifiers from the prop department, film B roll, pitch a grifty reboot, overpay sex on the beach, take this to a larder, try and move backtrack, drink a babysitter, attend coffee meetup, give up her hopes and dreams. We didn't actually see any of the animations. Give up her hopes and dreams. So there's a little heartbreaking. She kicks it away. Singing. She's giving it up. And then it repeats. Okay. And we've got Stan Centennial Burns film a wedding scene. Hire locals her locals for pennies on the dollar and scout for undiscovered talent. So let's look at film a wedding scene. Oh, pretty much just filming a wedding. Is that that NPC, the guy? I swear he's like a common NPC that's always used. I swear he showed up a few times uh, during the rest. <laughs> like, they, we need to just add this NPC. Give him a name. Give him a character. This guy's been like in so many animations, I swear. Maybe I'm, maybe it's slightly different. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's film wedding scene. Oh, actually, may as well cancel. So, yep, yeah, that's Mary Tannenbaum with the uh, Heart Heartmark Studio. Um, yeah, not a bad, not a bad building decoration combo. Uh, not too shabby. I, I actually really like uh, the building's quite nice. I actually really like that quest line. I think that was um, very good. Actually, I may as well skip it. I'm going to need her for to do the actual quest act thing. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't mind the quest line. The quest line was very good. Animations are mm, fine. I like the wedding one. I think the other one's a bit... I'm not, like, so big on the whole cloud thing is all. There was the first animation. The second one's cool enough, though. Um, yeah, no, no, no more complaints. So tell me your thoughts. What do you think about the item? And I'll see you in the next one, where we'll be hopefully doing Santa Snake. Goodbye.